Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is another golden ratio tutorial, instead of working on an already made sketch, I will show you how to draw directly on Illustrator, using a reference image of a fox, then I will grid it with the golden circles, to finally get this cool logo. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to Squarespace for supporting my video. Whether you need a domain, website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace. Ok, instead of sketching on paper, I will use the same technique of the previous logo tutorial, I will trace on a reference image, directly on Illustrator. You can choose any animal image you want. Select the image. Decrease its opacity. and then go to object, lock, then click on selection. Ok, our image is locked now. Double click on the paintbrush tool, and make sure to set the fidelity to the highest smooth level, then press ok. I start tracing on the image, and I try to simplify it as possible as I can. And as we are going to grid this outline with the golden circles, Make sure to make every line circular and geometric as possible. The reference image is used as a guide to figure out which element to draw. Ok, this is the preliminary outline. I will see if I want to change something. I think it will look better if I make the head higher than the back. So with the direct selection tool. I'll take this point, and move it down here, and then I'll move the handle up to fix the curve. I forgot to make this white part of the tail, so I will add it using the pen tool. I'll align it with the line of the neck. And I will change the brush definition, so it will look like the rest of the outline. Ok, this is pretty much our outline. Select everything, go to object, lock, then click on selection. With the ellipse tool, click on the canvas, and make a 100 by 100 pixels circle. I showed you before every method to make the golden circles, so you know that every circle is bigger than the smaller one by 1.618 and vice versa. So, while the circle selected, press Ctrl C to copy it, then press Ctrl F to paste it in front, go to the transform panel. Make sure that the little chain is checked, to make the bigger circle, multiply one dimension by 1.618. When you click, the circle will be transformed. To make a smaller circle, select this one, press Ctrl C to copy it, then press Ctrl F to paste it in place, then go to the transform panel, and while the chain mark checked, divide on dimension by 1.618. And when you click away, the circle will be transformed. Do the same process to make as many circles as you want. Ok select the circles, drag it on the outline, and then shrink it to be in the same size. Drag it back here, and then I'll change its color to white, and I will increase the stroke size to 2 point. Select the fox outline, and lock it. As our fox outline is so clear and don't contain many details, we will only need the bigger circles. Hold out, and drag this circle, and align it with the back of the fox. It doesn't have to fit exactly the preliminary outline. Hold out, 
and drag the bigger circle and make the tail part. Hold out and drag this, and align it with the neckline. Ok I will extract this part and then we will continue, so we don't get confused with the overlapping circles. Ok, select the three circles, and with the shape builder tool, drag on the back part. Then drag on the tail parts to merge it together, and then take off the external parts. Select this parts, and change its color to differentiate it. Now, hold out and drag the circle and align it with the back part, from the next side. Hold out and drag this circle and align it with this line. Hold out and drag the bigger circle and align it with this line, it s the back of the head. And for the fur head, I'll try this one. I think it doesn't fit. So I'll drag this one and align it with this line. Ok, select the white circles. And with the shape builder, Drag on the neck and the head parts. And then take off the useless parts. Ok this is our fox outline gridded with the golden circles. Ok, I'll drag it here. I think I forget to make the end of the tail again. So, I'll drag this one and put it here. Hold shift and select the tail. Then with shape builder, hold out and take off the external part. Ok, finally we have our clean outline, and needs some colors. So, I will apply some gradients to it. Select one part of the outline. From the gradient panel, click on the gradient slider. The gradient will be applied to the shape. Double click on this color stop. Either you can add color here if you have a color code. Or you can add color from swatches. I will apply this red color. Double click on the other color stop, and I'll apply this orange. And from here, I slide this more to right to make it more yellowish orange. Now with the gradient tool, you can adjust your gradient the way you want. I will take care of it later. I'll apply the same gradient to the neck. Double click on the red color and change it to white. Ok, with the eyedropper, I'll give the orange gradient to the back and tail parts. And then, select the tail, Ctrl X to cut it, then select this part, and press Ctrl B to paste the tail behind it. Now select the end of the tail, and with the eyedropper give it a light gradient. Select everything, and take off the strokes. Ok, with the gradient tool, I will adjust every gradient from lighter to darker, so each part will stands out.
As always, I will put the link to download the files of this tutorial in the description. Ok, everything is good. I will add some shadow, so select the tail, then select the rotate tool, reposition the reference point here, then hold alt and drag up, then with the arrow key move it left here, right click, arrange, and bring it to front, hold shift and select the back, then with the shape builder, hold alt and take off the external parts. Select the new created part, go to the gradient panel, select the orange color and decrease its opacity to zero. And from the transparency panel, change the color mode to multiply. Now adjust it with the gradient tool. Now, do the same thing under the neck part. And that's it. This is our Fox logo gridded with the golden ratio. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to get exposure and show your work to the world, you can quickly and easily start your own online portfolio website with Squarespace. You don't need any previous coding or web design experience, you will simply use one of their many great templates and customize it as you want. Visit the link in the description to get 10% off with your first order. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.